Hello, my name is Rossella and today I'm going to do chapter 7 in this book. If you haven't done it yet, click on the red button there and subscribe to my channel to be the first one to watch my next video. You can find me on Facebook Theory Virtuoso or Instagram Theory Virtuoso. You can also visit my website theorywirtuoso.com where you can see all the videos that I publish. There are music theory videos to help you revise or improve your knowledge, tutorials on discovering music theory or grades, sample exam papers, musical quizzes to test your knowledge and piano tutorials to boost your piano performance too. Thank you for watching. Bye! This chapter 7 relates to intervals and let's go straight on to exercise 1. We need to write the notes using the number of intervals indicated. And uh, as we have the key signature here, we don't need to worry about the accidental, so we just count the notes. Never too easy. 1, 2, next to it. The third is three steps from it. One, two, and three. Fourth, four steps, including the note. One, two, three, and four. Fifth, one, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, five, and six. The seventh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And the octave is an octave higher. B flat, B flat. Never easier than this. Are you happy? Once we know the procedure, it's easy. Let's turn the page together. This exercise number two is the like number one but in reverse. So we need to we have the intervals and we need to name them. Okay, so this is to count, we need to count the steps one, two, and three. That is a third. And don't forget to put the third here. One, two, three, and four. That's the fourth. One, two, three, four, and five. That's the fifth. We don't even have to name the notes. One, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh. And this is not an eighth, but is an octave. That's better. You can call it eighths, but it's an octave. That's the name in music. Finished. Amazing. Exercise three. Okay, here we need to write the notes indicated with a number of interval. And the note should be higher, but also we need to add the accidental. So it is important to know the key we are in. In A minor, we have no sharps, no flats, unless it's the leading note. But I don't think we have it. So a third from here is one, two, and threes on the lead, uh, on the um, ledger line. La do, middle C. A fifth is one, two, three, four, five. La mi, la si do re mi. That's another way of doing it. Now in B flat major we have two flats because B flat is the penultimate flat in our key signature. So we have Mi and E as the flats. So B flat, B flat, an octave higher. Yes, we need to write the flat again. A fourth from B is E, I think. So C do re mi. And Mi is flat, so we need a flat on that note. A third from B flat is D. And we need to write two ledger lines. And it's not flat, so sorted. Did you do it this way? Also, guys, you know that you can find me on Facebook and Instagram, Theory Virtuoso, and you can visit my website, theorywirtuoso.com, where you can see all the videos that I publish. Please go and look at my website. It's very useful. And there are also some shorts, YouTube shorts, where you can learn pills of music that are useful if you play. D minor. 
D minor, we need to worry. Uh, so D minor is the relative minor of F major, three semitones above. And F major has B flat. But the leading note, the seventh degree, is raised. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, do. This do is sharp. Okay. Re, re, mi, fa, so, la, si. We have a B to write. And this B, as we said, is flat. A second from re is just mi. So, no flats, no sharps. Done. A major has, let's have a look, from the key with sharps, one semitone below is G. So all the flats, all the sharps in order up to G. Fa, Do, Sol. Here they are, the three sharps in the key signature. La plus three, basically, one, two, and three is Do. Is it sharp? Yes sharp an octave from la is just another la written in the right place if you can't remember it this is fa and if you want to remind yourself how to read the notes in all the clefs go and watch my videos one one a one b one c and one d linked in the description below or on the card up here so fa so la si do okay Fa, Sol, La. Next one, a seventh. La, la, Sol. Okay, so this is Sol. You can also count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's Sol sharp, yes. Sharp. This is important, it's the leading note. E flat major, E flat is our penultimate flat, so the flats are C and Mi and La. A sixth degree for Mi flat, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Si, Do. Do is here, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Si, Do. Is it flat? No. We can relax. A fourth degree from Mi is Mi, Fa, Sol, La. Now La, is it flat? Yes. Flat. Second, a second from Mi flat is just one above. Fa, is it flat? Nope. Sorted. Fantastic. E minor is the relative minor of three semitones above G major. Now G major has one sharp and this sharp is Fa because Fa is the first sharp in any key signature. A fourth from Mi, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, La. We need to remember that E minor is a minor key so D, the seventh degree, will be sharp. Here it is. A fifth from Mi is Si, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Si, Mi, Fa, Sol, La on the ledge line and Si above. Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Si, Do, Re, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and it is sharp because it's the leading note. So we need to sharpen it. I hope this is useful and not too confusing. How did you find it guys? Can you let me know? Thank you very much. Let's move on to exercise four. In exercise four, 
we need to write the name of the interval. In reality, this is easier than it's explained here because they talk about the tonic, but we don't really care of the tonic at the moment because we don't have to identify the type of interval, but just the number. So we only need to count the distance between them from the bottom to the top note. So one, two and three, this is a third. This is very carefully, we need to count one, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh, that is a seventh. One, two, three, four, and five, that's a six, a fifth. One, two, that is a second. But guys, this is really as easy as that. Unbelievable. One, two, three, four, five, six, that is a sixth. I told you that I'm not using the circle of fifths and the system about the scales and it makes everything easier. I'm so sorry. I don't know why they relate the intervals to the scales. It's just too confusing. This is an octave. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Octave. One, two, three, four, five, and six. This is a six. But by the way, we can count backwards. It's the same. One, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, and three, that is a third. One, two, three, four, five, a fifth. One, well, let's count backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seventh. One, two, three, four, that is a fourth. One, two, a second. One, two, three, four, five. That is a fifth. This is a, an octave, we can see it. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight octave. One, two, three, and four. I'm not even looking at the, the key. We don't need it. One, two, and three, that is a third. One and two, that is a second. Off you go. Excellent. There you are. Sorted and not painful at all. There is a challenge and I'm not doing it here, but I will post it on Instagram. So go and look at my Instagram account and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. Thank you. I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye. Thank you for watching my video. I hope it was useful and don't forget to share it with your friends. If it was useful for you, it will be useful for other people too. As I'm here, I'd like to thank all those who messaged me and emailed me telling me about their music life or the music experience or music theory exam. And a huge thank you to all those who told me that thanks to my videos, they gain confidence or a distinction at their music theory exam. Thank you so much, this makes me so happy. Now, if you want to find another chapter of Discover Music Theory Grade 2, you'll find it here. Thank you.